In this lecture, we're going to go over the nomenclature for alcohols. So let's look at the three rules that we must follow whenever we're naming alcohols. Rule number one, like always, locate the longest chain of carbons and number the groups accordingly. In other words, groups like bromine come before chlorine because B comes before C in the alphabet. Rule number two, the letter E is dropped for OL in the parent hydrocarbon. We'll see what that means in just a moment. Rule number three, the OH hydroxy functional group is given the lowest positional value and takes precedence over all other groups and this includes double and triple bonds. So let's begin with example A. So let's use red to label our carbons. So in step A, we want to find the lowest possible chain, or the longest possible chain, and the lowest possible value for our hydroxy group. So that means we begin with this end, one, two. Note that if we begin at this end, we will get one, two, and our hydroxy would have a two, not a one. Since we're looking for lowest value, we start from this end. So we have a two carbon backbone, that means we have ethane. So according to rule two, we drop the E in ethane for OL, so we get ethanol. Example B, so once again the same exact story, we're trying to find the lowest possible positional value for the hydroxy group and the longest possible chain. So we begin at this end, so one, two, and three. So we name it one propanol, the one simply designates the value of our hydroxy, so our, our hydroxy is on the first carbon and propanol means we have a three carbon backbone. Example C. So once again, we begin labeling. Now this, uh, this compound is symmetrical and that means it does not matter if we begin on this end or that end. So let's begin on this end. One, two, three. So our hydroxy group is on the second carbon, so we get two propanol. Example D. So this is a bit tricky. Where do we begin? Well, if we begin on this side, right? One, two, three. We could also begin on this end, one, two, three, or on this end, one, two, three. So it doesn't matter from which carbon we begin. What matters is that we don't begin from the middle carbon, because if we begin on the middle carbon, we get a two carbon chain versus a three carbon chain if we begin on either one of these carbons. So let's begin on this carbon here. So we get one, two, three. So that means on the second carbon we not only have a hydroxy group but also a methyl group. So we have two methyl, two propanol. So on the second carbon we have both our methyl and hydroxy. Example E. So once again where do we begin? If we begin on this end we have high values for these groups. If we begin on this end we have a low value. So let's begin on this carbon. One carbon, two carbon, three carbon. So we name this one chloro because we have a chloride in the first carbon, one propanol because we have a three carbon chain, and we have our hydroxy on the first position. Example F, the same exact story. Where do we begin? From this end or from this end? Recall rule three states that hydroxy group takes precedence over all other groups. That means we start on this end. So one, two, three, four. So we're going to have a four carbon chain. So we have butanol and our hydroxy is on the first carbon. So we have one and now the third position has our chlorine. So three chloro, one butanol. Example G. Now, in this example, we have a double bond, and I specifically left out the name. So let's work out together. Where do we begin, on this end or on this end? Recall, once again, according to rule three, this group takes precedence over even a double bond and a triple bond. So we start on this end. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have a four carbon chain, on the third carbon, we have a double bond, 
and on the first carbon we have our alcohol. So how do we name this molecule? Well, first of all, we want a four carbon chain, so we're going to have something like butene or butanol, right? So let's write, we have three, three represents where our double bond begins, and we have butene, and then we put a dash, we put one, and we put all. What this means is that on the third position, we have our double bond beginning. And we have a total of four carbons. So we have butene, we put a dash, the water presents where our hydroxy group is located, and the O means our hydroxy group is in the first carbon. So let's go to example H. So in example H, we have the following compound. We have, once again, a double bond, and we have a hydroxy. So we begin on the hydroxy end. So one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, and four carbon. So one carbon, two, three, four. On the second, we have our double bond. And notice that we're going to have a cis conformation because the two H's are found on the same side. So we get cis 2 butene because our double bond begins on the second carbon and 1 ol. So cis 2 butene 1 ol. 1 ol means our hydroxy is on the first carbon. So example I. Example I requires memorization. This has a specific systematic name, but we're not going to name it because the most common name used for this compound is simply phenol. So this benzene ring with an OH attached is known as phenol. Example J. So in example J, we have three different hydroxy groups and we have a three carbon chain. Now because this is symmetrical, it does not matter where we begin. So let's begin on this end. One, two, three. So we name this one, two, three propane triol. So we have a propane one, two, three, three carbons. We have on the first, second, and third our hydroxy groups triol and that's how you name it. Example K. Now we have a cyclic compound. We have a ring and we have to begin on the first carbon where our OH is attached. So we have, we start here, one, two, three, four, five. So we have a five carbon ring. That means we have a pentane, cyclopentane, and we replace the E with our OL. So cyclopentanol. Finally, the last one, E. So once again, where we begin? Well, we begin on this end. Why? Well, because we're trying to minimize the OH value. So one, two, three. If we go up, we end at four. If we continue, we end at five. So let's continue. Four, five. So that means we have a five carbon ring. So we have a pentane, replace it with pentanol. And on the third carbon, we have a methyl group. So three methyl, one pentanol where one simply means our hydroxy is on the first carbon.